Hello everyone, this video is the third installment in creating the fully parametric kitchen cabinets in Revit. The link to the previous two videos is given in the description box below. Do watch those videos before you continue with this one. In this video, I am going to create a kitchen drawer which you can open and close and also change its width, height, depth and sheet thickness as you can see here. The reason I am creating this series of tutorials is that you can learn to create your very own Revit family for a kitchen design. If you have any question or difficulty related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. Do leave your feedback below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So now let's start with the tutorial. Open the cabinets template file which I have created in the uh, previous part. Now, as you can see, I have already established the reference planes and the parameters. So save as this file, it is this family file so that your template is not destroyed. So now save another copy of it with the name draw design. And now you have created another file which in which I am going to create the drawer. In the template, I have only created the basic reference planes which would be needed in almost every sort of cabinet design. So if you need according to the design, you can add more reference planes in this file as shown in this video, and also you can give it give it parameters. So this is where I'm going to place my drawer. Make this reference plane as equal. Then select extrusion from the create tab. Select this rectangle and draw here. Make sure to lock all the four edges. So that when you change the height and width, it moves according to the reference planes. Now go to the floor plan and lock this side with this reference plane and this one with this reference plane. Now you can see that when I change the value of this parameter, the box for the drawer moves along with it. So in this way, you can open and close the drawer. Now select void extrusion. Set the reference plane to this top plane. Select with the help of tab button on keyboard. And draw a rectangle like this. Lock this side. And for the remaining side, place the dimensions like this. Then select three, uh, all of these three dimensions and give them the parameter of sheet thickness. In the front elevation, adjust the extrusion with the help of this arrow button and then place a parameter of sheet thickness as shown. Now we have created the internal side of the drawer. After this, go to the front elevation, select extrusion in the create tab, set the reference plane to this surface and draw a rectangle like this. Make sure that all of the sides of this extrusion box do not coincide with the reference planes. Now add this equal parameter, uh, equal, you can see equal dimension to all of these four sides.
after giving it giving it the extrusion into 1 inches go to the floor plan and then lock it with this reference plane and then lock it with this reference plane you can also uh, get the help of the align command now we have the front side of the drawer which would be visible from the outside now i need to place a handle for this drawer so open a new family template file of generic model the reason i am creating the handle in a separate file is that you can use that uh, family of handle for uh, for the other uh, cabinet designs and doors in the future so create the design of handle according to your choice and or you can also download a any sort of handle from the internet as well If you want, you can add parameters to this handle as well, but I'm going to skip that part. So now add the parameter of material for this handle. After saving this file, load it into the project. Then go to the reference level floor plan and place the component at this point which is the center of the drawer lock this uh, handle with the help of align button as shown repeat this same command in the front elevation as well and lock it down so now the draw, uh, design of the drawer with all of its parameters is complete and it looks like this before you load it in the, in the other um, family file of the kitchen cabinets which i have created in the part one of this uh, series may uh, make sure to check that it is working fine and all the parameters have been created now open that file which i have created in the part one of the kitchen cabinets design the link is given in the description box then load this drawer in this file go to the reference level floor plan and place it where you want to place it you can adjust its uh, rotation with the help of space button on the keyboard go to the placement side elevation and adjust its position with the help of move command
now once you have done this align this drawer with the reference planes so that it moves along with it now as there are two drawers for this cabinet so copy and paste the other one as shown and once you have done this align this drawer as well to lock its edges sorry its sides now select both of these drawers and give it the parameter which i have created in the part one for this kitchen cabinets file so that the parameters of the drawers and the parameters of the cabinets the hollow cabinets they match with each other repeat this process for these uh, for these parameters as well if the parameters does not work correctly this means that the uh, draws has not been aligned properly so again go to the ele uh, elevation and align the draws with the reference plane now you can see here that it is working fine now this dialog box does not have the parameter for the movement of drawer so create the new parameter with the name movement of drawers and then assign that newly created parameter here so that both of them are linked to each other and when you change the value of this parameter here the drawers will function correctly now go to the uh, reference level floor plan and place the component here like this select this drawer and assign the parameter of width which is the drawer and cabinet width this drawer is going to be smaller in width as compared to the previous drawers
now if you want to change the height of this drawer as well so create a new parameter for the height of of the small drawers click ok add a I'm, I'm going to add a formula to this parameter which is total height of cabinets divided by 2 then select this drawer and assign this newly created parameter to this height dimension and now you can see that it has changed its height as well so you can see that how efficiently you can work with the help of these parameters you don't need to create new uh, families and new drawers every time make sure to align them and then lock the edges copy and paste this drawer on this side as well after aligning the edges on the floor plan go to the elevation and align the elevation as well So now the design of the drawer and its placement has been completed. Change the dimensions and the values to see if the parameters are working correctly. So that's all for today. Uh, in the next video, I will create another drawer and then place it on this file as well. So I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.